Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create template projects in Ableton Live. So templates are useful because you can start off with a specific set of tracks preloaded. So maybe you have like a bass, a drum, a whatever, a guitar. And every time you start up the project, that'll be pre-configured for you. So you don't have to rebuild it every time and find all the plugins. All right, so first I'll show you how to set up the default template. So the way it works is that first you just configure the tracks the way you want them. So as an example, let's say I want to start off with a audio track called kick. Maybe it will load an instance of analog as a separate thing. Maybe I'll call this synth. We can add effects to it. It'll remember all of this stuff. And you can also add send and return effects. So here I've already preloaded kind of a reverb and a delay, which I like to have in all of my sets. So let's say you're happy with this and you want every time you create a new project, you want it to start like this. So then you would open the settings. You can press command comma as a shortcut. And then under the file folder tab here at the top, you have save current set as default. So all you have to do is hit save. And it'll ask you if you want to override one if you already have one. I'm going to click OK. So now what happens is I'm just going to delete this, delete this, delete this. So now if I press command N to create a new project, it'll ask me if I want to save the other one. I don't want to. So now you see it creates a new project with the settings we've saved before. So automatically you have a kick, a synth, the two send effects, and then it will also remember the tempo. I didn't change it in this case. But what's cool about a template project compared to just loading an existing project is that it starts off untitled, as you can see here. So it starts off as a kind of a fresh slate that you can save new projects from. So it's kind of like a blueprint, if you will. All right, so if you want to set up multiple templates, it's a little less intuitive. What you want to do is you open the left panel here. Under places, you go to your user library folder. So by default, you'll see these here. So what you have to create here is a special folder called templates. So I'm just going to right click, select new folder, name it templates. And this has to name, be named exactly templates. It's kind of a magic folder. So every set that you save inside this folder will be loaded as a template instead of as a project. So it will be loaded kind of as an unsaved state. And now it's as simple as just creating uh, sets inside here. So as a shortcut, what I like to do is right click and do show in finder. And then once I'm here, I'll just drag this templates folder into my favorites here so that I can easily access it because it's deep inside like a, a folder structure. So as an example, again, I'm just going to maybe load up an 808. Let's pretend that we're creating like a hip hop. Again, this is just for example purposes. I'm just adding random instruments here just to show you. I'll name this 808, name this bass. So let's say now I'm happy and I want this to be my kind of hip hop set. So again, what you do is you go file, save live set as, and then here's why I created that template shortcut in my favorites, because I can quickly just jump here and then I can name this hip hop template. And you don't have to call it template, but just to make it simple. So now that that's saved, if I go to my user library now under my templates, you'll see my hip hop template is open. So now let's say I do a new project. So now we're back to the default project we had. But now if I want to load my hip hop one, I can just double click it here. And just like that, we have a hip hop uh, template loaded and it's untitled. So we can treat it as a normal kind of template. I can save a new project from this point on. And again, you can have as many of these as you want. So again, you can have like songwriter, EDM, whatever you want, any configurations that you like. What's also really cool about templates is that you don't have to rewrite and load a whole new project. You can load the template as kind of a sub project. So to show you that example, let's say I started off here with just a kick and maybe I'll just call it vocals to make it more dramatic. So let's say I start off with a project like this and then I want to load the four tracks I have for hip hop. So instead of double clicking the template, I can just drag the template in here and you'll notice that all the tracks that are part of the hip hop template get loaded here. So this is really powerful and kind of a really cool shortcut to have. So you can imagine having a template that maybe just has a drum kit like kick, snare, hi-hat, a bunch of tracks for drums. And then if you're in the middle of a different project and all you want to do is load that kind of subset that you've configured, you can just drag this in. All right, so hopefully this was useful. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.